Ladies and gentlemen, this is probably going to be the sketchiest thing I've ever done in here. And this is sketchy for me. I have, I have seen these in cartoons and I've had this one for quite some time and I've been wanting to redo it what have you clean it up it was clogged up the leather was gone in the plunger i put a new one in there it pumps up and i ain't gonna lie to y'all this has got me nervous compressing gas to begin with and i'm gonna use coleman fuel which is probably a bunch of people say oh no don't do that but I don't know how much to put in there. Oh, it ain't leaking. I guess that's a plus. And I really don't know what to expect here. Okay. Let's get the flammable liquid off the table. Got a fire extinguisher handy. Now I know you're supposed to put fluid in here and heat this up and all that. And I'm going to pump it up. I'm just, I don't know if these are going to hold or anything's going to hold or if it's even going to pump up. And I don't even know. Is anything going to come out of there? It's going to take a while. Do you have to? It seems to be pumping up, but I don't think anything's coming out of it. I was going to use this to heat it up. Uh oh. Maybe I ought to crank this up down on this a little bit more.
Where is it leaking out of? Everywhere? Yeah. Right here. I don't know how tight this is supposed to be. squirt gas out now. Alright, where's it leaking out now? Is it leaking by this bolt? Is it leaking right here? Where the hell is it leaking at? It's leaking by that screw. Alright. It's just, I don't know, sketchy. Is it still leak? I think it is still leaking right there. <laughs> Probably not a wise thing to do while it's on fire. No. I can't take that out without bleeding the pressure off. Right. Let me bleed it off. I'll put the original screw back in there. How the hell do you bleed the damn pressure off these things? Good question, huh? pressure bled off. The screw is not holding. I'll go back in with the original. Yeah. So this was the original screw. All the pump pumps. I know that. said this is super sketchy here nothing coming out now. Mm -hmm. 
now we got something coming out of it. <clears throat> doing something. Calm down, I think, or
curious. I've never seen one of these work. And I'm not sure if the flame's proper on it or not. But that's pretty neat. It's got a good amount of heat. got a, it hasn't been running a long time I would imagine. It smooths out the more it runs. I don't know if it's supposed to do that or not. I literally don't know anything about. I want to see if it shuts off. Pretty unclimactic there. Now I wonder if it will turn back on as easy. Is there still a flame in there? Yes, there is.
still a little bit of gas coming through there. I don't know if it's supposed to do that or not. So I guess if you just, if it does, then you just, well, it's out now. <laughs> that was cool, ladies and gentlemen. I never, ever messed with one of these, ever. This was a first. Uh, and that was the first time lighting one. And that was the first time lighting this one. Came out pretty nice. I knew I was going to singe my stuff here. And I didn't realize, of course, I guess I did realize it was going to get that hot. But that was pretty... That was pretty neat. That's pretty neat indeed. There's just a rope that hangs down there and inside here, if you've ever seen an air air filter on a regulator or something looks just like bits of metal pressed together, you've got that inside here. So I guess that prevents from a whole rush of fuel going up in it or, or the slow migration of fuel. That worked. I was... <laughs> had to change that one screw. I was trying to go pretty and I couldn't get that one to seat, but hey, that was probably one of the more sketchier things I've ever done. Thank you so much for subscribing. Please hit like and subscribe. Uh, we got some other stuff coming up here. Uh, Y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching too.